Hello, everybody. Sorry I was gone for, like, a couple days. A lot of things have been going on. And yesterday I was sick, honestly. But I'm happy to feel better today. I'm sorry, you can hear the crunch. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so, I decided I wanted to start over, mainly because, one, I didn't get super, super far into everything, and then two, to build your own ship, I realize that the initial ship looks cool, but I absolutely kind of ain't want to build my own ship. So... <laughs> I guess it is what it is. That sort of thing. But... Anywho, I hope you guys are all well. I think I'm gonna make. I'm gonna adjust the chat a bit. Since after staring at it for a little bit. I realized that it's definitely way too light when it comes to things. Let's see. There we go. So now you guys can see messages a lot better when they pop up. It was my bad. Anywho. I am still in love with <laughs> But yeah, I also decided I I hate survival. <laughs> Mainly because food takes 50 million years to grow even with those growth tray stuff and I really don't want to be spending my pixels on food when I can be saving them for other things. So we're not gonna skip initiated. Tomorrow I might also- Tomorrow I might attempt to see if I can get Tree of Savior to actually stream. If not, we're gonna just switch to another game. Cause I tried it before, but I'm wondering if I can just do something to help make it stream. Like a bit better? I don't know. But I mean, I played Tree of Savior actively um, I'm not exactly new new to the game, but I decided I wanted to start anew, and there's a lot I don't know, so I'm practically like a newbie in the game anyways. Like, I, I'm getting a lot of help from a guild to figure things out, but there's a lot of things I just, I really don't know about the game. I initially, I played the game when it first was like mostly like in its beta. Like, I was in the first closed beta test, and I got in technically to the second closed, which was a month long, but my computer died. And then I initially played it when it finally launched, but then just, I, <laughs> I just, I have not touched it really. Like, I tried to touch it, but then I was like, uh, no. So I decided, I was like, you know what, 
we're gonna we're gonna start like brand freaking scratch new and i'm enjoying it way way more i'm getting actual like support and help that i wanted and I'm confused about, you know? Um I'm I'm I don't like playing on survival mainly because food is <laughs> I keep forgetting about food. And I was about to burst into tears when all my stuff dropped. Cause I didn't realize it was gonna drop all my wars like that. I got lucky. I got lucky. But anyways. So we're going to start on casual since I... No. I, I can't with survival. I can understand losing like pixels. But all those ores, I, I really did almost burst into tears. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Like, uh-uh. Hey, it's all good. It's nice to see you, though, Demon Hunter. I hope you enjoy the B-Day, though. And it's fun. I know you probably had, you know, been lurking to see how I've been doing. So it's all good, Demon Hunter. It's nice to see you, though. You're like my consistent chatter and viewer, honestly. So it's always pretty nice to see you. <laughs> but take care, Demon Hunter. I hope you're doing good. Oh, my bad. Anywho. Well, let's get started, shall we? You know, I wanted these chips, but at this now I'm realizing, one, they're going to crunch too much. And then two, I don't think I like kettle cooked barbecue chips as much as my, my girlfriend does. Anyways, let's, let's get on to it. Casual. And we're not skipping the intro mission. Because my, my dummy self always forgets about food. And I know like, oh, well, some food provides buffs. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I understand that. But at the same time, I don't like survival and I keep forgetting about food. I really do hope one day I can actually play Dauntless before you guys, because I do play Dauntless quite a bit too. Ah. Also, I'm gonna take the advice of the other person and see if like... Um, and see about... Um, using boomerangs. Because, um, somebody told me when I was, when I eventually gave up and just did what you call it mode. Yes, I know, I know. But, yeah, no, pretty much. But pretty much, I don't know. I personally just, I don't know. Don't know how it will go. But I, I kind of gave up. Because I did not want to spend most of my stream playing it. I just went admin mode on the Urkius facility. 
honestly and <laughs> and then realized somebody told me why don't I to use the boomerangs because I was too hyper fixated to look at my other screen Put that in visual. Seriously? Okay, now we will get rid of this. Oh, why is my air still on? Hold on. Oh, girls are gonna get our bill all high. <laughs> go with the vanilla ship because I am not building <laughs> my own ship like that. Excuse me, I clearly put it on this. And I just wanted to grab it just to grab it. I don't really want the flower. <laughs> and so we're gonna want a short sword to use instead. I love that it's night and raining. Yes, I need all these 
some nice health supplies and these pixels do me good as well. Homie, did you really just run off down there? Protheon. We're gonna make sure to try to find some horn real quick because we need that oil and we're gonna need that light stick so I can actually roam at night without feeling like I'm gonna be I thought I heard a slime thingy bouncing, but apparently not. I'm gonna go down there, of course, but I need to get stuff situated before I do anything. Exactly. I'm gonna want some armor, preferably probably some bone armor for now. Exactly. Cause this sword be annoying. It's not a bad sword, but it's not a good sword either it's considering it's broken why does it feel like the day it takes 50 million years when I'm streaming but then the day it took the day to come takes like 50 million years when I am streaming but when I tried to play this game when I wasn't streaming day came like super quick it was like oh yeah you know here comes the day now goodness there are so many people pulling little jokes and stuff about the um, Splatoon 3 and when is gonna come like like on the April somebody uh, pretended there was a Splatoon information that was coming out Um, specifically pretending that the global test fire was now open for people to uh, sign up for and then the other day I saw somebody posted a modified screenshot of Nintendo Steam trying to pretend that the release of Splatoon 3 was going to be pushed back to winter and I'm like what is with everybody messing with us right now like y'all being real evil real evil like dang what you being so evil for like I do not understand I'm drinking some cran mango juice. Say hello.
healthy, everybody. I 100% recommend it. to just grab things just in case if I'm being honest even if I'm not really gonna be eating uh, I like to <laughs> grab food or things to grow because I like the aesthetic of having a farm even if I am not eating especially since well to be fair some things I need anyways comes to down to some things, you're just like for example you gotta wanna make sure you get these some seeds, it's like getting jeans and stuff pretty much. So we are we are actually we're gonna make sure things things go smoothly. We're, we're gonna pay attention. We're gonna pay a good attention to to these things. I'm making sure I get plenty, plenty of trees. This is a corn plant. Good. We're gonna need the corn. Or we're gonna need this cotton. Okay, this is a non-hostile. That is also a non-hostile. What in the world is this? You know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. Okay. This is good. This is some interesting dirt. So we're gonna definitely need this. Now... I'm gonna need more plant fiber. Jeez. I didn't do diddly squat to you. Not your jump kick hurting me. Well, that's pretty far down. We ain't want that. So we're gonna grab this rough dirt. Okay. Now let's craft us some rope. <laughs> Ow! What is- Ow! Jesus Christ, man! What is wrong with you? All I did was exist! 
gonna say I have to have it. And then I don't really care. Okay. Jeez. Ah! Ah! What is wrong with you? Go away. Leave me alone. You and your jumping. Out here trying to kill me with jumping. Is that an... Okay. Wow. And uh, I hear the science facility. Do that, and then we're gonna let some things build up. In the meantime, let's get us some more plant fiber. Can y'all stop, like, stalking me? What the hell? Get away from me. Y'all jumping things. I think I'm gonna go the other way. Go away! Leave me alone! You're harassing me. Let's go going that way. Okay, waiting for the day to come again. Ultimate waste. The ultimate waste. Young people say no to TikTok, social media. Gen Z is social distancing from social media. I. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay. I was feeling some pain though earlier. I took some ibuprofen. So if it comes back and I'm hurting, I will sh probably end the stream early. I mean, I'm ending it at 7.30, so you guys still got like an hour and 30 minutes. Since I like to stream for at least two hours. Sorry, I just read something that made me go. Mm -hmm. I love when I'm not exactly an old adult. I just turned 24 this year, so I'm almost mid 20s. Um, well, I'm practically mid 20s, <laughs> but. <clears throat> I hate it when people who are like young adults will want to be like, I'm grown, blah, 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 when they're just 18 or 19 and they want to say they're grown so they get certain privileges and things like that. But when they screw up, they're like, see, I'm still kind of like a child. I'm like, no, 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 no. You can't be going back and forth between saying that you want to be an adult and be treated as an adult and then try to say oh well I, I want to be treated like a child when you when you mess up say well oh, I'm still young I'm practically still a child I'm still learning I just turned this and I'm like no 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 
you can't go back and forth on which if you want responsibility or not like that you own up to it you own up to it and people people like that tend to annoy me extremely because they They want, oh, how did I end up doing that? That was um, good. But yeah, no, they end up They want the privilege of being an adult, but they don't want to accept the responsibilities of being an adult. I got my first bone. So yeah, no, it's either... It's like... I can understand the mindset, but if I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever tried to use being a young adult as an excuse if if I'm being really honest cuz I like I said I kind of personally find it distasteful genuinely I kind of find it distasteful I Today on this stream, we talk about our <laughs> maybe some serious topics to a degree while I play a game. But, in like genu genuine honesty, for, for the folks who. Uh, what in the. Oh good, some bones. I'm gonna need leather if I wanna craft any leather. Oh, fantastic. Goodbye. More corn. That's what we need. This is not safe. Better. Bye. way. 
you have not found any potatoes. And I know we're going to need potatoes. We're doing good when it comes to corn. Will you give me leather? No, nope, you gave me holiday spirit. Gosh, you're getting quite a bit of corn. Oh, bone. Oh, finally a potato. That is a snake. That is another snake. But yeah, no, I think that's something I dislike heavily, is when people know what certain responsibilities with cubby things, and oh, there's a lizard on my thing, again, that or it's like, um, not technically a lizard. It could be, I don't know, it looks cute, it looks like a lizard. But, let me see. Most likely it's not a lizard, but it could be like a salamander. I because I think salamanders are considered amphibians. So I'm up, oh, moving around like nutty. Since I don't have my glasses on, 
Oh, there's another one. I Yeah, no, they're salamanders. From the way that their tail are tail is and considering the environment that I live in because there's water nearby we I mean I live in Florida um and our we have a little water source or something like that like it's like <sighs> but the, the way their tails are and their bodies are shaped and considering the environment that we live in But, yeah, there's two of them now on my screen thing. I think the other one's gonna leave, go on somebody's balcony, because I live on the first floor and ours is, uh, screened in because of mosquitoes and stuff. Wait, no, there's three! There's three on my screen thing. <laughs> there's three on my screen and porch. I just noticed one in the corner. I had a squint. Oh, and the, the second one left. Is there any more that's just on my, my screen? But yeah, I live in Florida and we literally have a moist, we have a high humidity here. Mind you, I'm, I'm letting you know I'm, I was not born in Florida and I've not been living in Florida for very long. Um, I am actually a Californian. See, mostly I think I have lizards there, but depending on the place, yeah, we would we would probably have uh, salamanders. Would not be surprised. But given the fact that. They like a damp environment. The third one left, I think. But given that they like damp environments and Florida has a good humidity, there's there's some water sources. And I know where I am, there is a big water area. I do. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, I think it went down. Yep, it's coming up. Our main little salamander has not left us. The other two that have just popped up have, but... We've got a little fourth buddy that's uh, climbing up our thing, too. But... They like humid places, and we... Our water source that I live near, we literally are told... You know, don't mess around or try to fish in the pond or anything. I don't even know if it's like a pond or a little lake. I have no idea what to call it. But don't fish there because there might be gators. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's such a Florida thing, huh? To have to be told, yeah, maybe don't fish here because there might be uh, gators. <laughs> like... <laughs> Sam was like, yeah, welcome to Florida. I was like, Sam is my girlfriend, by the way. Technically, I think I've already explained it, but technically... They are just more feminine presenting. So they prefer to be called that only by me. I would suggest maybe just calling them my partner instead. Silver. Knew it. Oh wait, what the hell am I doing? Just 
take over this place. And just plant things up here. Well, that's my mission. God off portrait. Totally stylish. Out of my house where the hell not me accidentally somehow tossing my sword whoops didn't even successfully get it
Okay. Cabin roofing. That's a wooden bridge block. So I can at least see to an extent. Let's see. Get this inventor's table. And then I'm gonna need a campfire. So we need methanol. And it's gonna be under this. things first, let us put this here, and then we are going to fix up this area.
doing that. I don't like that. <laughs> Thank you. 
and extract from the, these blocks. Sorry, but I did not want to snake baby in there. My bad. If I'm evil. Oh, uh, if anything, I'm fixing it up. But thank you. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt fixing it up. But I'm like, I'm taking over this place. And it is going to be mine now. Even if I do not have technically all the ingredients for it. I like to think I'm decently creative like this, but it's, uh, we will see as I add on to it, because I'm definitely going to try to make a basement level for other things, but I figured why not when it comes to comes down to it.
like this room is going to be the most complicated to fix. Honestly, it's a fun game. It really is a fun game. And it's specifically because uh, I decided I was gonna challenge myself more. I was like, why not just get a mod? <laughs> and instead of just a mod, I got the Kraken Universe mod pack. So that I just make things a little more complicated for myself, because why not? So now I have to do like these little research things to unlock certain stuff and But overall, like even when I was just mostly playing the base game, honestly, it's it's a really fun game. I honestly recommend it. it recommend it to a lot of people I have Terraria too but it just not it doesn't feel the same as Starbound I know it's made by this uh, like people who broke off from the Terraria team I believe there we go top garden good to go but Yeah, I mean, they, they did a good job when it came to this game. They did a really good job. I'll give them 100% all the props for creating a game like this. If I was playing survival, I would probably be starving right now. <laughs> Which is why I'm playing casual, because I will forget my hunger if I play uh if I play survival. I don't have the recipes for these blocks just yet that I'm missing. So actually. Because I can do cabin roofing. Is that what this is? It's just treated wood? No, it's ornate wood. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when in doubt... Steal previous builds. <laughs> oh, wait, I can do that. Okay. So I just need to make treated wood. Glad I was chopping down some trees. I'll do that. I guess, I guess actually I can unlock it if I wanted to. By default, be able to unlock it here, I think, easily. But, let's see, one in the car, yeah. It's got bored cookie dough. Oh no, your English is fine. The salamander from earlier is still on my patio screen. But, yeah, no, your English is perfectly fine. But yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy watching people play Terraria. Like, um, there's a person called Gromic, and he gets a bunch of Terraria veterans 
to come together and do like silly things or he'll mod like the game or they just mess around with stuff and I enjoy doing that more than actually playing it but when it comes to Starbound I actually enjoy playing it and I know I'm probably I'm oh you have all these missions I I kind of care more about building <laughs> this game than actually doing the missions but but yeah, I love Gromic. I love Gromic. Definitely, definitely a recommended YouTuber for people who are interested in Terraria, things like that. Somebody, there's little kids outside banging on my apartment building's uh, mailbox. Little gremlins. But yeah, I, whew, I love watching Gromix playthroughs with things. I was watching, uh, yeah, I, I watched some of his other stuff about, what is it exactly, um, what he did was they were doing glitches, and it's just two episodes, and it's one of the more newer episodes. Yeah, the veteran series are the best. Um, but I was watching those episodes, and... They're just so funny, man. Well, I was, I was laughing so hard, because they, he went into hell, and there was a Walmart in the background. <laughs> was cracking up way too hard like I did not expect there to be a Walmart and since he was technically streaming that when they were when he was doing this which is why it was only like two episodes because it was part of a stream even the stream was cracking up I was like, I was like, you know, it's kind of fitting. I'm not surprised there's a Walmart in hell. I would have been cracking up too. Like the stream, if I was watching it live, honestly, I would have. I would have been with the rest of the chat, but Lord knows I was cracking up, even though I wasn't watching it live. Cause that, that was funny. People get really creative with those those texture packs. And then um the moon had sunglass not the moon had sunglasses. The sun had like sunglasses. Just He he found a way to make it even more funnier. Which some people didn't wouldn't probably think is possible, but I'm like, oh, Gromic makes it possible. He knows how to make things funny, all right. Texture packs will be making things really funny. Oh, I feel like I got a hiccup. I was like there, but just was not. Just in case. I 
cannot wait. Oh, this is gonna look so great when I finally have this all finished. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is that this is, this is more like I was taking over a planet on this house because with this mod pack, some things are a little bit stupidly difficult and sometimes it's good to have like a basic base, in my opinion. Um... I think I know, I think I know what you mean. If anything, it's more like I'm just fixing up this house. And I'm pretty sure at some point you can put teleporters in these homes that you can access from your ship. So even if you go to a different solar system, you'll be able to access this house. So to say, um, example, I, I probably won't keep this toilet, this toilet was here. Yes. So for example, I, I already know where this house is. So I can easily get back to it. So this is just the starter area. There's not a lot of like conflict or anything in the starter uh yeah like uh especially with this i don't know if this thing is here on if the portable i think these this mobile lab thing from the mod pack is part of the mod pack um but it has a teleporter there but there is i think you can actually buy a teleporter and put it in your builds so when you're in your ship and uh, you want to just go to your little house that you built or maybe some other houses you built etc etc or there's just certain places you want to keep going back to because it has good resources and you don't want to waste your fuel flying all the way back then you would um just go to your little teleporter instead of beaming down you have the options to go to where you saved the teleporter at so you can name the location like in the case of when you go to the outpost there's like the two stop teleshop or something like that and i believe that's where you buy the teleporters You won't have to exactly like leave leave your build because i know that would be yeah and that's no problem yeah i'd be upset too if i had to leave my build behind i'd be like wow i just put all this time in. and in my case it's me rebuilding a place to just the claim is my own because i needed something real quick but yeah. Yes, but for example, pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna have this toilet here. I'm going to change this to just these little blocks here and i'm not gonna have this toilet anymore and i will put a teleporter oops not use the toilet but i'm gonna put a teleporter in this room so i can just come back to this place whenever i want because you know i'll even though 
I'm on casual and I technically I just I don't need to eat. The getting genes and growing things to extract from them, I believe, is just beneficial for this mod pack, so... Pretty much food is still not useless for me. I do need to get sand, though, because I cannot make this without sand. But yeah, it's no problem. I'm definitely not like super, super expert at the game. Um, but from what I know, I'm pretty sure you would just be able to buy teleporters. So I would recommend, yeah, just checking the two-stop teleshop. Oh, that is the wrong way right there. I don't necessarily need these. Yeah. Okay. And it's raining again. Oh, man. Alrighty. Uh, thank you for subscribing to me. And I hope you sleep well. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by. Sorry, I'm just chatting with some friends in my server. Let's see.
in this. Not my friend saying, imagine not sending me the link to your YouTube so I can subscribe. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, little butt nugget. Nice. I love being able to like, I love talking to streamers, not streamers, viewers. Snake. These snakes on these planets are interesting. Hey, buddy! You know what? You can go and live in there if you want. Go, my buddy. Oh, okay. Or not. Okay. Fine. I see how it is. You don't love me. Are you mad because I unintentionally killed one of your brethren the other day? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, snake buddy. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my Twitch first with my friend. Here we go. Cool. You gonna come in now? No? Okay. I am unloved by the snake. There. Come on. Yay, snake buddy. Snake buddy. Now you will never leave. <laughs> Thought that you would be able to come in and and leave? No. This is my world. Yep, 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 yep. Those slimes are so. Like you've got to be careful with those damn things. They are so mean. <laughs> but... Do I have any more of that? No, I don't. I'm gonna need to craft more. Okay. Hey, little snake buddy. Maybe instead of... Um, I'll take away that since I can just jump up there. Oh, great. It's one of those dang slime things. I'm keeping this, though. Because this just... I'm not jumping the entire time to the little roof farm that I'll have. But I, what I will do, wrong thing. Put the forging table up there. At least I think I could put it up here. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice. I feel like I'm gonna scare y'all when my voice gets deeper. I'm gonna be like, oh. Boo, Pastel Boo is online, and I was gonna be like, hey, and you're gonna be like, oh, who the f is this? But yeah. We 
can take this off at least for now. Oh my god, are you fuck Of course I miss like one bit of that. How am I I am not surprised if I'm being honest. Okay. No! You will not kill Snake Buddy. Uh, I love them uh, flying into my uh, roof. Okay, Snake Buddy, I'll let you be free. You can go and be free if you want, Snake Buddy. Go on. Psych. Okay. Those seem so weird. Oh, I have to edit it on my uh, YouTube to say Tuesday through Thursday, uh, to Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday through Saturday that I stream. Oh my goodness, I gotta have Samson. The money to our friend, Jet, so I can get my banner made. Of course I'm going to change it from torches. And make them probably look like lanterns. But for the time being, this will do. I'm probably gonna go through later at some point and just like hit it all. The stuff in my like settings that describe my streams. Yeah. So we are gonna make sure to get ourselves a well built. So let's see, we're going to want to get a hoe at some point. And to do that, we've been doing good on building up some research. We're going to need to get this. Also, my dorky dork self, some ornate flooring. I'm like, oh, I'm probably all finished. No. There we go. And then we need to grab the... Well, we're gonna need more ornate wood, but we can do that. And then, cause we're gonna need string anyways for the cabin rifle. So we can fix that up and make it look nice and 
fourth pull up I'm But let's get ourselves some ornate wood. Okay. You know what? So they can be free for right now to roll back and forth however much they want. There we go. I got a good chunk of wooden logs going on. I think what I'll do... We'll do it over here first. Kind of make it like that instead. I think I like that a little bit more than just the openness. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do though. Cause I'm gonna build this up. And this is gonna look nice. Your support block. Uh huh. So yeah, I would need glass. Glass required. My server is so weird. My server of friends are so interesting. Oh, so I need string. Okay. Well, that's fine. Anyways. Let me make myself up some, um, give myself an iron and copper. Because we're going to need to work on getting something to extract this wood at some point so we can make use of this old wood we don't really want. We're gonna need that. Copper, iron, and paper. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna need one of each. Well, one of each, four, and then just some paper. Dun, da, dun. Da, 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 da. I would need a silver bar for the centrifuge. Iron, copper, and timber. Well, that ain't hard. Now let me see, let me see. 
So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Just in case. Boop, boop. Homegirl still wants potatoes from me, but I ain't got no potatoes. put this here. Oh my goodness. We only got... Whoops. did it without killing a little snake either. Hee <laughs> hee. I have an idea. I I can't. I'm sorry, snakies. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna leave you trapped down here. No, I'm, I'm evil. Especially since I have a little snake buddy that I uh, sort of trapped in my home, but.
Why can I craft a general store? I'm gonna put the spinning wheel up here. Let's see. Okay. I was off by one. It's the wrong thing. Whoops. That's for oil. something. So when things that rain doesn't water the crops or water the area in a another crop seed but eh, can't that's just for the rooftop garden speaking of so we're gonna put wanna put fences along up to here this area I think I'm gonna build up this tower and sort of kind of make it like a watchtower sort of thing. This won't take a lot of stone though. We're gonna do this. But we'll at least know how to craft heavy stone brick. And small stone. This is just 
this treated? Oh, this is unrefined wood. Interesting. Hold on. Either way, this is where... This will be the area where... Craft some trees. Craft some trees. Plant some trees. Such a goofball. Trees grow, water is going to be built up, and then what we're eventually going to do is dig down and expand downwards with things. Bunny. More copper over there, which is good. Oh, excuse me. Oh. They're starting to grow! Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Okay. So why did I do that? That was an accident for them. Eventually what I'm going to do is probably expand some things put down some sprinklers here. What is this? Then we can get a lot 
Oh my gosh, sucking up the water like crazy. But yeah, apparently rain or light rain doesn't... Does not water crops. And that in, um, I guess the starter planet also doesn't... For some reason, rain doesn't water the crops in the starter planet. And I'm like, okay, that's so weird. But I mean, that's fine. What I'll do is just um, get some things to put some sprinklers down here. I probably am going to use like a, the little wooden platforms. So it's not as like obvious. So we do it like this. And then we'd put the little basic sprinklers on top of them. That way the crops are getting a good source of water. And since... Oh, look at that! Our first tree! Ow! That was stupid of me. Look at that. Got some two trees already. Look at us go. Three trees! Woo! Four! Look at us go. Getting them trees now. This is good. Woo, this is good. Oh, this is heavy rain. I think. This is a heavier rain. Okay. We got a good chunk of oil. Building up some water. But yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my, my tree farm. And then I'm gonna, of course, like, edit and adjust this area, make things out a little better, etc., etc., etc. Uh, I'm gonna get, I can't wait to get the chainsaw. It's gonna be like. Cut the trees down, plant, and continue to get ourselves a nice, consistent source of wood. And we'll make ourselves a wooden storage for the aesthetics. Oh, there we go. Got some leather, which is something we definitely need to be building up. Because we're going to need that for bone armor. Anywho, hold on. Let me check something. So... We need 12 cotton. Right now, we are sitting at... Maybe in here? No, let's see. Where is it at? Here? Yeah, so right now we're only at 9. Hence why I'm growing cotton. Oh, that's a type of bird that would I'm pretty sure would try to kill me. Either way. Got a good chunk of bone, got some living root, holiday spirit, storage, and matter. We get a good chunk of plant fiber. I can't wait to make some lanterns that would just like light up the place a bit more. But yeah, I'll definitely just build this up a bit better. When in doubt, if you... <laughs> If you don't feel like building big things, steal a build that you find on a planet. I got lucky. As you can see, I got my little rooftop garden.
I like the house to match. There we go. Libyan. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that was a stretch. Let me turn my light on. Okay, I'm back. All right, I decided to uh, get to change the chips I was eating. I 
don't think the Kettle Cook barbecue chips are that good. To be fair, it's like Miss Day or something barbecue? I can't remember the name off my head, so I just got myself some Lyman Hot Cheetos. Sorry about the crunching. <laughs> I mean, I gotta eat. Or, well, snack. Yeah. I made sure that I get like a little bowl because you, you, if I eat too much, then naturally it's going to mess up my stomach. I prefer eating like um hot puffs. If I'm being honest. But if I can't, either I would like the hot um I would like just to eat the lime and hot Cheetos. I remember, I, you know, they were my favorite growing up and everything like that, Lyman Hot Cheetos. And I remember my sister was just like, you like Lyman because you just can't handle the heat. And that's the thing is like, I don't really eat things based off of the heat. It's not I can't handle the heat. I, huh, I was eating Hot Cheetos just fine and I eat Hot Puffs just fine and I eat Hot Puff Corn just fine. And I've never had a problem with extra hot Cheetos either. But my thing can you extract freestyle from it? Yes, and it's crushable too. Figuring out. This stuff's gonna be interesting. Anywho. My thing is I'm very, very, very particular about some things. I guess you can say that, we'll call it that, being particular. <laughs> but... I never really liked eating hot things for the sake of just eating hot things. So, if for example, I like hot puffs and hot puff corn. Not because I just like the hot, the heat of it, it's the texture. I, um, like the texture of it all. It, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's refreshing. I guess you can say that. I guess you can say that. It's that it's refreshing. I I don't know. I don't know how to describe it when it comes to the texture. My my girlfriend thinks that I might be on the spectrum. Which is why they sus they said that I do a lot of things that are similar to what he does. I I know I personally got nothing wrong with being on the spectrum. I grew up with a brother who is very very disabled. Um, 
And I mean, it in the way that, like, all his needs had to be cared for 100%. Like, I, I haven't been able to see him in a while, if I'm being honest. But that is, um, the reasons as to why is, it's kind of personal, so I'm not going to get into it. It, not personal in the sense of that. I think it's more so the reasons why is that it's it's family business. And I don't want to get... I'm not going to be that person who airs my family business out. Like that. For one. So, I'll say it like that. But pretty much... Overall, he, I grew up with a, like I said, I grew up with a pretty, pretty disabled brother. Um, and I mean it to where he was completely wheelchair bound. He could not, um, He could not form words. He could make noises, but he couldn't form actual words. So he could not speak either. So, never had an issue with like disability. I mean, I like, it's just something I, I grew up ex for sure it being acceptive of. Sure, being accepted of, acceptive of. Um, I will at least tell you his name. His name is Rashawn. And he is, um, He's gonna be 25. No, no, 26 this year. But I will say that he's in a care home. That's what I will at least share. That he is in a care facility. But I know my siblings and I are planning on... We're finding some time to try to figure out if we will be able to, like, you know, actually see him and everything. You know, gotta look, give our give our buddy guy, because that's what we like to call him, our buddy guy. But give our buddy guy, you know, nice visit if we can. It's it's a hope. It's a it's a pretty big hope. Because uh, all, all three of us miss him dearly. Whoa, that rubble. Is this also rubble? Yep. Goodness. But yeah, we called him a, his, uh, well, I know I called him Buddy Guy. And my mom called his, uh, like, I think his toy, some of his toys his Buddy Guy. But I know I personally like to refer to him as my Buddy Guy. 
but I mean, just because he's, you know, can't formulate words and things like that, just, you know, of course he's smart in his own way. And he, some people like to talk like he's like stupid, because I've seen it happen before where people talk to him like he's can't understand very well, and I'm like, he can understand. He can, he just cannot communicate. He can, he will stare at you. And he's, he's looked angry before. He's like, oh, I've seen him looking angry before. Woohoo! I'm imagining it. But, man, you did not want him angry at you. Uh, Mr. Buddy Man. He can hold a grudge. But yeah, I love him dearly. I love him so dearly. Him and I think we're the closest of our siblings. Even though, um... I mean, I think it used to be... Mm, I will say, like, all siblings, we all had their, like, our own problems. And then we've, uh, definitely... Um... To the siblings I actually can more so verbally communicate with, uh, I think all the three of us of the ones that are um, disabled, like he is, he definitely, definitely, we definitely had our you know fair share of sibling problems, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some of us got along more than others. Some of us had beef with each other for a while. Um. I know I can hold a grudge, um, or at least things weigh on me a lot. Um, I like to think I'm the crybaby of the family. Here I am, the, the second oldest. Well, technically out of all my mom's children, I'm the middle child. Um, But I'm I'm Jacob the crybaby. I won't disclose. Uh, well, I didn't disclose disclose his last name. I'm not disclosing my last name, of course. On this, there's a reason I keep this private. I don't mind being called Jacob. Um, on the internet, sometimes I will, but I would prefer to be called Boo. Or Asto. Or even Bun. Honestly. I've been called Bun. I get called Pastel by a streamer that I watch. Um, because people will default to, you know, yeah. I had some people be like, just mainly mainly some guys who take, say, calling somebody boo as a relationship only thing. So they'd be like, I'm uncomfortable with calling you boo. And I mean, I'd roll my eyes and be like, it's whatever. You can call me Jacob. You can even call me Button. My old username. <laughs> it was also had boo in it. It's just I changed the first part because I just didn't think it made much sense. In comparison, especially to my whole aesthetic and my persona. Who's an Usagi Mimi that turns into like a little ghost boo? But we me going on a tangent. Basically, though, I would say that consistently, if if I look back on photos that I could. For personal reasons, we don't have a lot of photos of my family together. Um, like I said, there's a, there was a lot of things that happened when it came to my family that I just cannot discuss for privacy sakes. But, just know we don't have a lot of our family photos anymore. Um, mainly... 
I think we have a photo album that we that I oh well I pretty sure I gave a photo album to the photo album that we could save. Was given to um, my youngest sister. She still lives in California, so. I mean, I'm gonna be living in California again at some point. I just, <laughs> I moved here for a reason, and it's to live with um, my girlfriend. And we plan on, uh, we're planning on having a big uh, trip in the future. What we plan on doing is uh, our friend is gonna fly here, and we're gonna rent a truck to move the furniture and we are going to do a cross-country road trip all three of us together since we all three of us want to live together it's gonna be great but in the photos when it came to most of us together it was mostly me holding him making faces at him um being around him a lot and I think even my mom said that out of um, all of us, it seemed that I was the one that was the closest with our brother. Which... I... I... And it's not to say that my siblings weren't close to him at all. It's just I think I spent the most time with him because, like I said, I would have some issues and beef with my other siblings. And I would rather be around the person I wasn't beefing with. And I'd watch little cartoon movies with him and have a lot of fun, honestly. I love him and I miss him a lot. Um, I'm going to be really happy when I can see him again. I'm gonna ask him if he's happy to see me again. I I wouldn't be surprised if like he really, really missed us. I don't I don't know if my mom has been able to see him. But I, I will disclose, I haven't been able to get in contact with my mom for a while. And as upset as I am with her, it's not the need not trying to reach out. It's, um, <laughs> I don't know where my mom is. <laughs> to be fair, all my siblings know we don't know where our mom is. That's about the only thing I'll disclose. She's, she's just doing her own thing. Are we worried? Yeah, to a degree, but my mom is a grown woman. Um, and uh, her children that can hardly take care of themselves, or in this case, I have a sister that literally gave birth to twins last year, so I'm pretty sure it was last year. I'm I have seizures. Oh, hi, Demon Hunter. I was just talking about my family. <laughs> I was talking about my sister having twins and I was just talking about my mom for a little bit, but I've been all right. We've managed to uh, decently rebuild this uh, house that I found, but I would need sand and glass, sand to make glass to fully fix the windows. Oh yeah, nah, definitely. She found out she was having twins and she was like, what? <laughs> but, and she said there are a lot of work. She said there are a lot of work. Um, and she's trying to make sure that they're not too, they're not codependent on each other either, which makes sense. You'll find that some twins can be very codependent. They can't function properly without their other twin near them. Hmm. 
know, funny enough, a lot of people thought that um, my sister and I were twins because we looked similar when we were younger, like really similar. We definitely, definitely people can tell the difference now and we definitely aren't twins. I was just born, I was clearly born a year before her, but, um, but it was really funny. My mom would tell me about it like, yeah, people thought you guys were twins all the time. And I was like, how? We look different. <laughs> we're literally in different grades. Did they think just one got held behind? It was so confusing to me that people would think that. Well, thankfully, in her case, it's one boy and one girl. So they're bound to end up looking at least a bit different. Just a bit. Because sometimes they can... Well, I, they're not ident... Well, see... Thankfully, they're fraternal. So they will look different. But boy and girl twins can still be identical twins. I've ended up finding that out. And so what it is is that how they still end up being identical is uh, in the end, the girl is infertile because um, I think it's, it's uh, I can actually find it. So, let's see. Yeah, I ended up finding that out. Um, she's the one told me because I was like, "Oh, so there was a boy and a girl," and I was like, "Oh, so they're not identical." And she was like, "Well, actually, they still could be identical." Um. So. What it is, is apparently, I went and I, I brought it up. And then somebody, had, you know, there was a question. Twin facts, and it says, can male-female twins ever be identical? And it says, in 99% of cases, boy-girl twins are not identical, so fraternal. However, in some extremely rare cases resulting from a genetic mutations, identical twins from an egg and sperm, which has, you know, as male XY can develop into a male female pair. This happens when the fertilized egg loses one of the copies of the Y chromosome when it's divided into two embryos. This is a lot of science. The resulting babies are then male XY and female XO instead of XX. So XO baby is outwardly a girl, but her cells only have one copy of the X chromosome. And then the condition is called like Turner syndrome. And I think what happens is that the girl, now there, there can be, there's a lot of genetic diff, um, anomalies or something like that but there's a lot of different syndromes that there's a lot of issues that may come with the Turner syndrome since this is usually apparently it's usually diagnosed it can be diagnosed before they're even born that they have it um but i think most often is when it's during like when they're little babies and really early on when they're child children um and it says that occasionally in females with mild signs and symptoms the diagnosis can end up delayed and it says that they like need ongoing uh medical care from specialists and so making sure that they see the doctor often can help them, you know, actually be consistently healthy. Mm -hmm. And so the symptoms is that, it, and it says it can vary, but for some girls, um, 
for some they, they may not be obvious and then for others it can be like really obvious but one of the signs is that they're developing slower or they have heart defects And they said a, a way to find out before their birth is if they see like a large flu, it says like large fluid collection on the back of the neck or other abnormal fluid collections, which is called edema, heart anomalies or abnormal kidneys. I said um, at birth or during infancy. Another sign can be their ears are a little lower than normal. They may have a broader chest like like a boy would have, I think. Um, they might have a wider or web-like neck. High, narrow roof of the mouth palate. Arms that turn outward at the, at the elbows. Um... This is fingernails and toenails that are narrow and turned upward. They'll have hand swelling and feet swelling, especially at birth. They may have a smaller average height at birth. Slow growth, cardiac defects, a lower hairline at the back of their head, a receding or, sm um, or small lower jaw, short fingers and toes. And then those are just some signs. They don't, not necessarily when they have all of the signs and stuff. And then it says in childhood and teens, um, again, slow growth. Um, they're not getting the growth spurts that they're expected to have. Their adult height might not even be as tall as the other members of the family that are female. Um, not really getting the sexual changes expected during puberty so their sexual development will stall during their teenage years early end to menstrual cycles not due to pregnancy and for most females unless they go with fertility treatments they're pretty much not really able to have kids But pretty much, that is the the way that a, a twin can be identical, even though they are male and female. It just comes with a crazy ton of, like, oddities and things like that that can happen. I believe that my sister's twins are fraternal, though. Like, in the long haul, they ended up fraternal, which common but she she knows more medical things than I do she was a combat medic in the military but she had an injury and had to drop out oh yeah I hope so too I believe that they are fraternal in the long haul they still might have like some similar to a degree appearances but they're not identical I don't think I'd have to ask her about it but she's been doing alright. I know if it wasn't for the fact that my youngest sister, because they're both my younger sisters, um, I'm, I'm fine with just being an uncle. <laughs> I am not interested in having children myself, so they can have all the kitties they want. I'll just be, you know, I'll just be the uncle. <laughs> I uh, am a I'm not gonna have kids. No, thank you. My girlfriend is fine with not having kids. She don't want no kids. I don't want no kids. So, on that front, uh, that's something I'm not worried about. But I do know, though, if it wasn't for the fact that um, my youngest sister has... Um, 
um, a bunch of other life things to worry about, she herself would definitely have a baby by now. As well. She's being sore with things and wants to make sure that uh, if they do have a baby in the end, her and her boyfriend, that things would be like properly stable and they're not running around worried about certain things. <laughs> Glad you don't blame me. The kids be gremlins. Kids are such gremlins, honestly. I mean, they can be cute gremlins, but that doesn't make them not gremlins. That's for sure. They can be so chaotic. Especially, especially depending on how they're raised, too. Spoiled kids can be a little bit of a nightmare, too. My thing is that I have people who ask me, like, oh, why, why don't you want kids? You're good with kids. I said, there's a difference between babysitting and then actually being a parent. Just because I'm good at babysitting does not mean automatically I'm going to be the greatest parent in the world and that I want to be a parent. Babysitting is temporary. Being a parent is not. And some folks do not understand that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, definitely. But I, I know my rebellious stage came towards like the end, end of high school. And that was, I did not want to do school. And I wanted to just play on my computer all the time. I was like, uh-uh. Now, my sister's rebellious stage was a lot different. And then my youngest sister never really got a chance to get a, like, super rebellious stage. But yeah, she didn't really get a chance to have like a, a super rebellious stage or anything like that. She... But she ended up just going like... I know she was in online school. But I will say, Kana definitely... Definitely had a uh, rebellious stage, alright. Kiana is my, uh, the one with the twins. But girl, who? That girl was a wild. I love, I keep draw, accidentally dropping my stuff. How do I keep doing that? I can't even remember what button I'm pressing. But yeah, oh no. No, no, no. They can... Oh, I hope my sister has fun uh, dealing with the rebellious stage of twins. <laughs> and that's if she only just has twins at that point. Because I have no clue how many kids she wants. I mean, I know she's she's happy with the twins right now, but sometimes, you know, they'll end up wanting more kids, and I'm like, <laughs> no, you're gonna have so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Not me, though. You, you can have fun with that. I'm trying to get some exactly what I wanted to get. But man. <laughs> I 
sometimes they really just don't realize some things. Honestly, honestly. But I just, knowing how I was when I was a teenager. At least towards the end when I finally did reach my rebellious stage and it was... Well, I don't live I don't live in the same state so ha ha ah, I don't I, I can't get out of babysitting I don't live in the same state she and I live in different states so I don't have to worry about that I am free from babysitting time unless she ends up moving into the same state as me and the same city and everything like that but it's not happening anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> so, that's my loophole. Maybe I'm a little too snug at the fact that I live in a different state so I don't have to worry about babysitting, but I- hey, I'm relieved. I mean, I do have to- I think I'm kind of a little bit thankful that, uh, my girlfriend's sister isn't asking me, and my girlfriend to babysit. But, then again, I think they just asked their parents. So I think that's how we get out of it. That and I do think they'd be a little bit worried about just letting me just watch the kids for too long. Mainly due to the fact that I do have seizures and they would be worried about the kids seeing something like that and uh, you know I'm not able to watch the kids if that something like that happens so I think that's also another reason is I have a medical condition so yeah I'm, I'm pretty open about having a medical condition or anything like that for sure though this is my green table technically it's an unnamed one because we never we can't I haven't been able to see a neurologist that has given me like an actual proper diagnosis. They just, oh, well, you have some kind of seizure disorder? Well, here's some medication. And ooh. It was a really old man doctor that I could kind of barely understand. Dude made me mad. He was like, but unfortunately, he was like one of two doctors in the city, and I just didn't have the funds to be traveling across California when I had a neurologist there. We're working on getting me one here while I'm for here while I'm still here, so I can actually get a better diagnosis of things. But oh my gosh, um, oopsie me. But overall, I've always been um. Like I said, pretty open to everything. And if you're like curious or something, you can ask questions about it. Let's see. Where am I gonna need this? Oh. 
and I think I actually want to work with beekeeping. Keeping looks fun. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I feel like some people like they'd be like super, super, super like. I feel like there's some people who get like anxious about asking me about some of these things, and I'm just like, I'm fine with talking about it. I mean, it's just something I live with. Um. Like, for example, I know that I'm probably never going to be able to drive, which, to be fair, driving, the idea of driving makes me really, really anxious anyways. So I'm not, not all too worried. <laughs> I kind of don't really care for for that. But I mean, I, I won't deny that it's definitely a pain in the ass when it comes down to it all. But I think anybody would probably agree that it sounds like it'd probably be like a pain in the ass to deal with. Cause, I mean, I think the most annoying thing about it, I think overall, would mainly probably be the fact that I could probably. What in the. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run! Okay. That was fun. I think I'm just... <laughs> Anyways! <laughs> continuing on. But... I think... Oh, why am I not like, checking it like that? But I think that... When it comes down to it all, somebody shouting in the distance. But I think when it comes down to it all, it's like a. Oh, I got plenty of oil. It's more so, it's like annoying when it happens out of nowhere. Like, I feel like, um, uh, let's see. So, seizures can happen when, like, super stressed out and everything like that. I don't want to have the tree, the tree on the other side, but... Pretty much. I can feel like fine during the day and not be stressed and then end up still having a seizure. You know, even on medication you can still end up having it, but stress stress and things definitely can increase the likelihood, which is why um my SO definitely keeps me from getting like too emotional and etc.
doesn't want me to, like dwelling on anything that might make me stressed, etc., etc., which is very good on them, honestly. Very thankful for them doing things like that for me. But pretty much, it can be just really, really, really dumb. Like, and I, I remember the first time, and then, and then with having um, a seizure disorder, you end up finding out that there's like different types of seizures. That the the common seizure you see where the people like fall over and things like that, it's not the only type of seizure. And I end up having like three types. And I was like, really? There's that many types of seizures? I had no idea. I, th I just thought I was... I always thought there was one type. I think everyone always thinks there's one type. And then you find out, like, nope. Why can the hell can I make toilet paper? But then again, you can craft a toilet, so maybe that's... not. Maybe that's not actually as surprising as I would think it should be. But... But... I guess it's like, it's like that, I guess, in a way. When it comes down to it all. But the types that I have. I did not want to do that. Oh, okay, good. It didn't go how I thought it would go. But yeah, I was actually having like one type of seizure before I was- and I didn't even know it was a seizure. I thought I was having like weird panic attacks for some reason. And then, uh, next thing I know, and it was when I was like- I was living in Texas and I wasn't living with my family at the time, I was living with a friend's family. And... I ended up, I was having, it's called a, um, it's basically like an aware seizure, and I described it as like, I thought I was having weird panic attacks, if I'm being honest. I was like, what in the world is going on? Um, and there's actually one time I was trying to like walk to sit down during one, and I just, I fell and I broke my phone charger, and I was like, no, I loved that phone charger. <laughs> um... But I was like, whoa, what, how did that happen? I was so confused. And and so I just thought I was having like little weird panic attacks. And you know, nobody thought anything like of it. They thought that maybe I just had like lingering issues that uh, were finally affecting me now in my life, etc., etc. And... We were wrong, of course, because I told my mom about them, and my mom was just like, huh, that's, you know, a little bit weird. And my mom has also went into, like, the medical field with things. Um, she never got her certification because of uh, things that just happened during... <laughs> it just had a lot of things happen in my life, but quite a bit of things happened... And she just was never able to, like, get her certification. We'll do that. But she wasn't able to get her certification, but my mom studied uh, neuro... Not neurology. Uh, she went and specifically was studying... Um, she... Uh, I forgot what exactly it's called. I can probably just Google it. I just don't feel like doing that. But, it's when you, she wanted to be basically like an x-ray, I think it's a radiog radiologist, is what it's called, when you're the one taking the x-rays. 
and the radiographer is the one that analyzes the x-rays. Oh, no, no, they're the radiographer. So she was studying to be a radiographer. I had it mixed up. <laughs> but I decided to Google it anyways. Um, but she was the, she was, she was studying to be a radiographer. And she passed everything when it came to, like, her thing. She was actually went to school on, like, a degree. She was going when I was uh, still a teenager um but pretty much she thought it was a little bit weird from her like because she still had to like know basic medical things overall and she even thought that it was a little bit weird though from a medical standpoint why would you just be having random little panic attacks? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. To be to be fair, yeah. It does sound kinda kinda weird. But that's that's how I could ra that was just the way I rationalized it. Cause I didn't know what else it could be. Besides being having panic attacks. <laughs> so I certainly didn't know what different seizure types were. But pretty much I ended up moving back and was living with my family again and when I was living in California. And then, boom, out of nowhere, I dropped and started having a seizure in the bathroom. My mom said she heard, like, a thump. She and my sister, my youngest sister there, they just heard a thud. They came in there, and I was just having a seizure in the bathroom. Um, I think, like, the only, like, really, really dark thing about the story it, overall, though, is my mom did... And this is something I just, I've come to accept, well, you know, I got really, really lucky that time. Um, the bathroom is small, and I'm decently long, tall. I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, um, which, I guess is like decently tall for some people. I don't see it as that tall, but some people do. <laughs> but... Because of the way I fell, my mom said that when they got to me, that uh, the angle in which I fell at made me unable to actually breathe properly. So I kind of got lucky. My mom and my sister decided to go and investigate or had actually like managed to hear me. Because I... I uh, Cause that that wouldn't have been a good thing, <laughs> but I got I got pretty lucky when it came to you know being found and everything like that. After that had happened, they heard the boom and they decided to investigate. But that's like the only like really really dark thing about it is, you know, sometimes depending on where you fall is super, super dangerous. Um, and even, even if you're just standing regularly, it can be pretty dangerous. That's why it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and I can, I mean, I can still decently live my life. It's just, you know, I am a little bit worried about like going out and doing some things because I want to make sure that 
I'm with somebody. I don't really take showers when I'm by myself, just in case. I, even though I actually sit down now when I take showers, unless I have to, like, clean my body, I hate taking baths. I tried taking baths after I started having seizures, and I, I just hate taking baths. Baths are so uncomfortable to me. I don't know why. They just do not feel comfortable at all to me. Oops, that is not how I wanted to place it. But, I don't know. Some people are like, oh man, baths are so relaxing. And I was just like, what is so relaxing about sitting in your, like, body water? How is that relaxing? This thing is still out here. That's a bee, I think. But I definitely think that, but yeah, so what, but to, to get into like, uh, I guess like scientific specifics of the the seizures that I have. Um, what is it? So apparently they're like, uh, seizures are like categorized in three, in three things. Oh, psh, my music completely stopped too. Whoops. Let me put on this. So we got some music playing in the background. But, they're categorized in like three types. I'm over here just like... <laughs> Giving you all this medical stuff. <laughs> it's like here, here has here's have some medical lessons about uh identical twins and, and seizures. <laughs> it's like welcome to my stream <laughs> where I'm just giving you a bunch of medical jargon. <laughs> Hello, Roni Baloney. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. I'm waiting for daytime to come and I'm talking about the types of seizures. <laughs> Welcome to um, us being big brain. Oh, then it's nice to see you again, Roni Baloney. Sorry, I tend to be forgetful about some things, but welcome back, Ronnie Baloney. But, let's, let's get on about, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, now I'm remembering your Steam name. Nice to see you again, Roni. So let's see. So apparently, they're cl they're classified into three groups, and I somehow end up having I think seizures in all three groups. <laughs> Um, it's, a. Uh, the mod's called Fracken Universe. 
It's a mod pack. So this one's pretty big. And, um... If you want to join, I think... I think the general consensus is if you do join. Kraken Universe. Not the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Kraken universe. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there is a monster with like the giant tentacles that destroy the world, but it's not the Kraken. <laughs> it is not called the Kraken. <laughs> the name of what the monster is called but it's definitely not called the kraken <laughs> Whew. thank you for that laugh
Thank you for letting me know that I was muted. I don't even know how I ended up muted. I was so confused. What was the last thing you heard me say? the last thing was just me cackling if I'm being honest um I was gonna say Roni it's in the steam workshop okay yeah so yeah Roni it's in the steam workshop and I was gonna say I would recommend just getting universe Kraken universe this one's called Kraken interface And then fracking music. Whoops, I accidentally added like two things instead of one, but. So yeah, it's for fracking the interface, fracking music. Fracking interface will change the interface to look how mine is now. Um, I know I have a little bit other things going on, but... But if you look onto Kraken Universe, it may tell you some recommended add-ons. Some other like recommended um, mods. To add on with it that might make things maybe a little bit easier and I was saying like fair warning I was showing you I was like don't lose this when you play this don't lose it do not get rid of it this is how you, you research it research things you can do all of this your tech crafting your mech gear fueling your mech upgrading things you know where you can view like different codexes that may be that aren't cracking universe related and then I was going to say that you know there's a lot to it there's going to be you know things you can't access etc etc until you have certain things you know building up research just means you're moving around you may be killing things, you may be building, you may be just crafting. Things like that. And so just keep it in mind. There is absolutely 100% a lot in this game. Well, in this mod in particular. That I feel I should just let you know. Because they can be intimidating going right in. Definitely recommend reading these things. Reading through things. Oh, where do I craft that bug net at? Is it here that I have to get it or something? Oh. Okay. But yeah, I was going to say that since I'm only going to be playing for 30 minutes, and I want this character, though, to remain as a solo world play, I will make a new character tomorrow because I'm going to play tomorrow since it's a free day and I can play whatever the wherever the heck I want um, tomorrow we can play together since I'm fine with playing with other people tomorrow for sure mm. and I would say um, definitely, like, probably take a moment to uh, maybe go around, get used to it. It'll definitely, the, the mod definitely changes how, like, the beginning thing is played out. 
so instead of just your graduating protectorate, you are instead a, uh, attending an emergency meeting. And so, pretty much, but you know, pretty much, huh. there is a lot in this mod. And I just, I hope you won't get overwhelmed by it. Because since it is just so much in it. But yeah, I would say get, get accustomed to it. Since like I said, for now, I'm just, I'm not going to let anybody play on this world with me. But I don't mind playing tomorrow with you. It probably won't be super often that we play together, but I definitely will be playing with you for sure oh that's where it is okay I'm gonna need five more string and just some timber I have enough timber okay Okay, now I have the bug net, so I can actually get these. You good? <laughs> what you going oh my god about? <laughs> Is it a lot? Or are you liking like the new title music or something like that? Okay, you've been blocked. What, what are you doing? Don't spam, but thank you for raiding. Please don't spam though. <laughs> I'll block you. <laughs> you scared me there. Welcome raiders though. Scared the absolute. <laughs> you scared me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for raiding me. Oh man, this is my first raid. <laughs> Yeah, no, they scared me. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> it's my 
my first raid, so <laughs> I was not expecting it. Thank you. I was actually having a pretty fun stream. Now it's introducing somebody to the fracking universe mod. Oh man, this is actually... Thank you! <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> oh man! Wow! Wow, that's my first achievement. <laughs> My first raid achievement. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Uh, talk about catching me off guard. Uh, I started streaming um, a few weeks back, and I've been working on trying to keep consistent with it. I made a... I'm... I personally am the one that made my own layout, <laughs> so... I know my girlfriend wants to stream and is uh, wanting me to make... Oh, thank you for the follow, Ace. Thank you for the follow, Daisy. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess it, in a sense it's sort of recent when it comes to my stream, but... I've been doing doing my best to keep it all consistent. Oh, what in the world's going on here? There we go. Oh, this, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm in like a really good mood now. <laughs> wow. It got me in a really good mood now. Maybe we want to stream a little bit longer than uh, 30 minutes. Maybe I'll stop at 10. I still will be playing solo play, but I still will, um, I still will play with you tomorrow, Roni. I will just play a little bit longer, though. For sure now. But. Man. Oh man. It's nice to meet you too. And thank you. Honestly, genuinely, thank you. Yes, uh, for the people, for the raiders who jumped in, I am playing the Kraken Universe mod and I took over a house. <laughs> I decided to claim this house as my own. Because I did not feel like building, building, like true building, I guess. Even though technically I had to rebuild this house a lot. Oh, I just realized I'm clicking the wrong mouse key. A genius. But yes. I introduced somebody to the... The mod. 
and tomorrow you will see me playing with them. And, you know what, actually, if anybody is interested, I think I'll make I think I'll make Thursdays where anybody who has the Fracken Universe mod and wants to play with me, I'll have a special character where you can join my world and you can play Fracken Universe with me. How about that? That sound like a fun thing to do. I'll make Thursdays my multiplayer days. Instead of just like, oh, the free gate days where I play whatever I want, I think I'll make it that's just the day that it, if you wanna play multiplayer with me on Starbound, you can play it with me. But I'll let you know what you know which mod I specifically have. It's the Kraken Universe. So Apiaries. Yeah, I still have the <laughs> a little beginning stuff. I've just been chilling on this beginner planet. <laughs> I plan to put a teleporter here and just make this my little my little home my home stretch of, of getting certain things while I explore the universe with things. But yep. But no, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I want to keep this just my my place where I do my little solo plays. Whoop. Now I'm gonna go and get some bees, or at least hope I can find any. I don't know if there's gonna be any right now, given the fact that it is raining. Making sure they got some flowers around these apiaries. Yeah, and I sort of started rebuilding that. Got some ducks. But yeah, I decided I. Of course, the pop shops. Mean buggers. But yep, yep. Okay, so that's a non hostile flying mob. I saw a bee, but there was a hostile mob outside, like at night. Oh my goodness. my bug net. Quack quack. I got a bug shell, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted a bug. Well, hopefully as I plant more flowers and stuff, 
it'll increase the chances of the bees to show up. make sure that I have plenty of like different little apiaries going on. And I think I think I'll leave it at like six apiaries and then have um, some more growing trays over here this I'll have some other stuff but yep I'm uh, y'all made me you guys got me in the greatest mood thank you I am see it's back it's back! That nasty mob is back to bug me again. I just want to make sure I produce a good chunk of honey. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Where is that at exactly? So I caught my first bug. <laughs> but I need a bee. I need the bees. It is an evil creature. Honestly. Like, it really got nothing better to do. Yeah, I'm gonna need to plant some trees and flowers over there. But no, it, it's evil. One hundred percent evil. Let's see. Should probably make the compost bin. I think I'm just gonna put it. I'll just like let food rot in there. Oh, I like that get oil more. Oil more. More oil. I can eat English. Yes, I can. Wait, I went all. I know how to play, yes I do. There we go. Let's see. 
Oh my goodness. Sorry, that was an alarm letting me know it was 9.30. <laughs> it scared me. Actually, I think... I think it needs to be like one more over, I think. Ooh, oop, oop, wrong one. Just I need to do a... Uh, right click instead. There we go. I can't wait to turn these into... That is way too high. Aesthetically wise. There we go. I think I actually managed to get that separated decently. But yeah. So that's like two more apiaries I think right here. And then when I add the two more apiaries I'll add some more flowers and then we'll put growing trays. So... Oh, that's another bug I think. I saw flying over there. That that I don't need the gun. Oh my god. For dying. <laughs> Let me run this way, see. Oh, there's flowers. So there's a flower over there. Hmm. Little sneak bees live. Anywho. Continuing on. That way we're getting a good production. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that we got a nice flower assortment. And hopefully that'll attract some bees and other bugs to come around and etc. Thinking about just putting... a couple trees for like just aesthetic. Since the growing trees aren't that big. Put another flower. Yeah, try to time to have some. And then we're making like just rotten, some rotten food. a good chunk of oil right now so I'm not worried. Actually, 
beekeeping. Oh, nice. The flowers are growing. Plenty of these kind of bugs, but I need the bug shell. I don't need bug shells. I need actual bees to start flying around. So I can catch them. I think I can use something to make the dirt also be more flowery and stuff. I think that's in the foraging thing. This is just mud. Hold 200 water? I forgot. And I think you need like three of each seed. Excuse me. Because I can make rice then and cinnamon. That's gonna make things a lot easier. But I need protocyte if I wanna use that. I'm guessing it's upgradable. Okay, I was right. Probably gonna want this towel at some point. What I could do is maybe Oh, I forgot I never finished up here. It needs to be ornate wood, huh? Do I have any of the ornate block pads? Yep. There we go. Boop, boop. All this coal in there. So what I could do maybe is just put corn. Oh great. I I'm gonna put this door here. I can make it one block higher. I just need to make it one block higher, which isn't hard. And we'll at least put a door here. Tree's grown. That looks like the tree is being burnt. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get lantern. <laughs> there we go. Move the torches down a bit. <laughs>
There we go. Part of me thinks that this tree probably won't grow and should probably just go with like maybe flowers instead. It's nice we got some flowers blooming. Sorry, bud, but you literally... I got an orchid queen. I'm guessing that's a bee. Okay, so I found a type of bee called the Orchid Queen. Uh, now it's just trying to figure out. if the Orchid Queen is very picky about things. And how does one identify a bee queen? Okay, I need to examine. Oh, what in the world? I hope I didn't just lose everything. I don't know what just happened there. That's odd. Because <laughs> I never saved and quit. So I don't know if it just, if I got an auto save or something, or. Because if I lost everything, I would be very sad. <laughs> doing a lot <laughs> I hope it doesn't just save when you save and quit oh nope I'm pretty sure it's saved 
I'm just gonna have to run back to my unless I can yeah I can't steal this I'm gonna have to run back is all Woo! that's good I was like um excuse me <laughs> An orchid queen. Oh, wow. I guess at some point I would want to place those two with a uh, one apiary. These would just add more and more types of frames. There's a lot of frames. Huh. A lot of frames. Yeah, a few indeed. I was like, um, um, excuse me. What I do know is that I'm going to be gathering all these seeds for flowers. Had me scared! I was like, nuh uh. -uh. <laughs> I was like, you did not just do me dirty like that, Starbound. I'm at least good on those types of seeds. I'm gonna collect these titles. Here. Okay, I got a drone. Good, good, good. I'm pretty sure I'm not actually that far. Just in case, I'm not dumb. Bye. Oh, that's another orchid, I think. And of course, it's flying towards me. Can you fly up here, please, little bee? 
I don't know if you're a queen or a drone or a what. I don't know. Okay, so that's another queen. That's another potato. Oh, I got a honey queen. are kidding me why are they down there you're evil Squash queen. <clears throat> no idea what in the world squash queen is, but it's a bug shell. It's a bug shell. Bye. Cutter drone. Another honey queen. TV. Goodbye. <clears throat> okay. So I need a microscope. I just got a bunch of queens now. So that is a honey drone. Oh, wait, wait. That's one outside. Can you come down? Can you come down more? Am I gonna have to use a rope to get to you? any like other bees chilling around nope I just get pop chops I love how like I when I have to run back to my base then I find like a bunch of bees just zoom 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 in all over the place I'm just glad I found some drones though so that's a squash drone and then we got a squash queen and we got two honey queens and two orchid. Okay. Oops, wrong thing. So how does one... What do I make? Oh, do I have to make it... In here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Thing. 
So would it be in here? Where is the microscope? Is it something that I can craft in here? Where? Where does one craft a microscope at? Unless I just am a dumb dumb and somehow skipped over it. It says crafting station. So does it mean I need to go to that? Where does one make the microscope? Trying to figure that out. Oh wait, I'm gonna need glass, I think, for it. If I end up needing it, I'm gonna gonna gl need glass for it. Oops, wrong thing. Yes, okay. I need glass. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. So hopefully we'll have a desert planet loaded up, but we're gonna put our bees in here right now. That's so cool. We got quite a bit, so I just wanna identify them. I'm gonna need to get sand from a glass from a glass from a Well let me do these little quests. Okay, so the dark caverns that way. Probably, I think what we'll be doing first. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to have a farm crate for farm goods. But for now, we're gonna get ourselves another crate here. and stuff in here for now. It's nice that we got some honey drones. Well, I'll 
Okay then. All right, everybody. It is 10 o'clock. And it has been... A really good stream. We've been streaming for four hours and 30 minutes. Um, tomorrow, like I said, if anybody has Starbound and has the Kraken Universe mod, I will be having another a new character made. And the new character is for anybody who wants to play... Well, you can add me. I think what I will do... Maybe make a, uh, I don't think I have enough to host a server. Let's see. Let's save and quit for the moment. Yeah, so uh, I won't be able to host a server, but um, tomorrow what I'll do is I'll... I might... I need to do something. Something instinct. Okay, what we do is I think because it'll I'm just gonna have a <laughs> I don't know if I want to have a bunch of friends on my main on my main account. You know what? It's whatever. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give my my Steam friend list, my well my Steam friend my Steam link anyways. And if you want to add me, you can go ahead and add me. And if you have Starbound and you have the Fracken Universe mod, what'll happen is I will be playing on the character that day every Thursday I'll be playing with that character and anybody with that mod on my friends list can join me and play with me anywho do you remember I play the um, I start streaming from 530 EST Actually, what we'll do in advance is, you know, we can, you can make any character that you want, any type of thing. Um, I 
I think just for the fun of things, we could play with it as casual. What I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to pre-make a character that we can play with together. This means you know you guys can team up together for missions and whatnot. Yeah, I don't mean it's up to me. I just think that it's going to be too much for like the server to actually try to run a server at least. Wow, it looks like it don't change. <laughs> make a character for tomorrow. I'm gonna go with green. I think it would be fun. Um, of course, every time you know I I run the server and it well not the server but um, play that day, there's gonna be you know some general ground rules of like you know don't be stealing anybody's loot. I will literally unfriend you if you after you get a warning the first time. You will get unfriended and you won't be allowed to play with me again. You know, and don't be griefing people as well. We just want to have fun with everybody. And of course, I'll, I'll go over everything. I'll just skip the intro mission. But it'll be casual mode. And this will be the character. This will be the character everybody will be playing with. It'll be Bun. Alrighty. Anyways, I'm gonna end the stream now. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the to the raiders who uh, stopped by and played. Thank you to and uh, to people who also subscribed or followed me. It's nice to see you again, uh, Demon Hunter. You popped back in. We got Roni Baloney, who had popped in as well. But I hope everybody has a good, a good night. And I'm going to be seeing uh, everybody tomorrow and I'm, I'm pretty excited pretty in a good mood um if there if anything happens or you may not see me online just in time or something like that please just check my twitter i post if i'm going to stream or not or if something happens that causes me not to stream if i'm capable of doing so but i'm uh, pretty sure i'm gonna be streaming tomorrow pretty pretty sure Anyways, good night everybody. Thank you for joining. I'll see you tomorrow. Good